what you think. What is up guys, in today's video I will be talking about the incredible journey of Seton Hall star Miles Powell and how he became a college basketball superstar and a likely NBA draft pick this upcoming June. If you like videos like this or anything college basketball related, make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy these type of videos, be sure to check out all my other videos like this and also hit that like button. Make sure to leave a video suggestion down in the comment section below and now let's get started. Miles Powell was born and raised in the town of Trenton, New Jersey. He grew up loving the game of basketball from a very young age. Miles was the oldest of seven siblings and grew up in a really tough neighborhood, so he needed to be a role model for the rest of his family. Because of his circumstances, Miles poured everything he had into basketball and made sure to stay out of trouble. By the time he got to high school, he was a pretty good basketball player. Despite his obvious basketball talent, Miles struggled with something that could have ultimately held him back in his career. He was nicknamed Cheese because he struggled to eat well and he was overweight. Putting his weight aside, Miles was a stud in high school. After playing for two different high schools in four years, he decided to leave the state of New Jersey and transfer to a prep school for his fifth year. Powell boasted offers from schools such as UConn, Pittsburgh, VCU, Seton Hall, and DePaul, but ultimately chose to stay in state and play for Kevin Willard at Seton Hall. As a recruit, Miles was a four-star recruit, the number 10 point guard, and the number 77 overall player in the class of 2016. When Powell arrived in South Orange, he brought along a ton of hype with him as he was praised for his ability to shoot with limitless range and even competed in the national three-point competition as a high school senior. Previously, Seton Hall was coming off his first NCAA tournament appearance in nearly 10 years, but they not only lost in the first round to Gonzaga, but also lost their best player in Isaiah Whitehead to the NBA. I actually made a video about what happened to Isaiah, so make sure you check out that video. Despite that, Powell joined a talented roster that included Kadeen Carrington, Desi Rodriguez, and Angel Delgado, and they were also expected to compete for an NCAA tournament bid. Powell played in all 33 games, but only started in two games the entire year. The Pirates got out to a 10-2 start in non-conference play, but were super inconsistent in Big East play. At one point, they were two games under 500, but they won their last four games and finished with a 21-11 record after going 1-1 one one in the Big East tournament. It would prove to be good enough for a bid, as they would become a 9 seed in the tournament and lose a close game to Arkansas in the first round. On the year, he scored his season high 26 points on two different occasions, once in a win against Iowa and another in a loss against Xavier. Despite only starting two games, Powell finished fourth on the team with averages of 10.7 points, 2.2 rebounds, and 0.9 assists a night. As a sophomore, Powell's eating better and getting in the weight room led him to have a pretty chiseled body and bad eating was a thing of the past. Miles was now a starter on a team that was expected to be really good. They returned all their key contributors from the previous season and began the year ranked number 23 in the country. They beat teams such as Indiana, Louisville, Texas Tech, and Vanderbilt, but lost to both Rhode Island and Rutgers to finish with a 10-2 non-conference record once again. Once again, the Pirates struggled to maintain consistency in Big East play as they were a really streaky team. The season fell apart, but they won four of their last five games to finish with a 21-11 record, which would once again send them to the 8-9 matchup in the tournament. They would go on to beat NC State in the first round, before almost upsetting the number one seed Kansas in the round of 32. On the year, Powell averaged 15.5 points, 2.9 assists, and 2.6 rebounds a night while becoming the Big East's most improved player. As a junior, it became Powell's team as Rodriguez, Delgado, and Carrington all graduated. Powell picked up the slack immediately, and he led them to wins against Maryland, Miami, Rutgers, and a thriller about their beating win against number 9 Kentucky. They did show some growing pains as well, as they would end up losing to Nebraska, St. Louis, and Louisville to finish with a 9-3 non-conference record. In a down year for the Big East, Seton Hall struggled to separate themselves from the rest of the pack, but two huge wins against number 16 Marquette and number 23 Villanova, plus wins against Georgetown and Marquette in the Big East tournament, solidified their NCAA tournament bid chances despite having 13 losses. They finished with that 20-13 record and played a close game with the number 7 seed Wofford in the first round, but Flusher McGee proved to be too much and the Pirates lost. On the year, Powell averaged 23.1 points, 2.9 assists, and 4 rebounds a night while becoming part of the All Big East first team. Powell could have tested the NBA draft waters, but he needed to get better at finishing around the rim and become a better playmaker before he could think about that. As a senior, Powell was a candidate for Player of the Year and a preseason All-American. The Pirates began the year ranked number 12, but struggled in non-conference play due to injuries to key players such as Miles Powell and Mamu Kemizvili. They did beat number 7 Maryland though, and finished with an 8-4 non-con record. For once, they actually turned it on in Big East play by starting with wins in 10 of their first 11 games, with their only loss coming at home against Xavier. They ended up cooling off a bit, but still finished with a 21-9 record, 
ranked number 8 in the country, and was part of a three-way tie for first place in the conference. Sadly, because of this virus, we will never see how this season would have played out for him, and we were all robbed of some of the spectacular performances Powell was likely going to put on, but safety for all of us is more important at the end of the day. On the year, Powell's scoring numbers dipped a little bit to 21 points, but he still averaged 2.9 assists and 4.3 rebounds, which were both career highs. He ended up being named the Big East Player of the Year, and became a member of both the First Team All-Big East and a First Team All-American. I fully expect Miles Powell to hear his name called whenever the NBA draft happens, and I can actually see him making an impact in the league. Because of his playmaking ability and age, I expect him to be taken in the second round, but I feel like he's going to pull a Malcolm Brogdon or a Devontae Graham type of career and make a huge impact in the NBA someday. Personally, Powell reminds me of Carson Edwards, and Miles is about as clutch of a player as you will find. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button and check out all my other videos about 2020 college basketball stars. I need your guys' help to make this channel grow, so make sure you subscribe and leave a video suggestion down below, and I will definitely add that to my list of videos to do in the future. If you are a Seton Hall fan, be sure to check out my video about Isaiah Whitehead, and if not, I will see you guys again soon. Peace.